Kicking off the video with me spawning into Fort Sancudo without a vehicle, I am immediately hound hounded by annoying Dave because he is looking for vehicles. I mean, he is looking for crystals because what else would a millennial do but sit on their ass smoking weed at a party while begging me to bring him crystals. And while I am rather annoyed by this development because I have a lot of things to sell and do, and I am, again, stranded without a vehicle, I was like, yeah, sure, as long as he's paying. I show you the red line on the YouTube bar just now to show you that it took me probably up to at least eight minutes just to get out of Fort Sancudo so I can go to a location and get some crystals for this guy. Now, yeah, we are coming off of the, um, of the Cayo Perillo heist, so you would think I'm a bit burned out from doing stuff, but it's still a great game. Even if these days it's no longer an open sandbox game, but rather a simulator for real life, which is also fun in, in and of itself. I mean, there is a, a, a real life mod for this game, but I mean, these days you don't really need mods as long as you uh, think of uh, uh, stocking up for supplies and warehouse so they could be turned into goods, which you could then sell as a day job. I mean, yeah, I feel like uh, you don't really need mods for, uh, for this sort of thing anymore. I mean, granted, the goods and supplies are... I mean, granted, they're, the goods are illegal and the supplies are pretty much stolen but i mean apart from other than the crime element the formula is the same also i was reminded while editing that they were using flare guns like i get their hippies and whatever but it's not like they don't have guns so <laughs> i'm not really sure what they're thinking yeah hippies they can amuse you sometimes but yeah anyway I mean, I just want to release uh, like one or two uh, videos from this from the series I'm currently working on. But right now, at the time of me recording this uh, audio, uh, the GTA servers are going through a Halloween special. And I have been grinding to get these uh, special limited time offers. And I will be releasing a video by the end of the following week compiling all the um all the things that I do. I mean, it's e it's going to easily be over an hour long, no doubt about that. So, I'm just letting you know what's coming. Again, I just thought it'd be better if I released at least a couple of videos in between or before then. I mean, because um if because as I go through the Halloween special, um, it may spoil a few uh, a few things from the series. But if you don't care, I'm sure you'll enjoy it either way, even if you do care. Anyway, goods retrie uh, crystals retrieved and delivered. And to be clear, we're talking about energy crystals, not the drugs. And I don't mean the uh, kind that you use to power lightsabers, but the kind that uh, hippies believe that crystals produce energy. Now, I myself believe in this kind of stuff. I mean, Chris, there are certain elements that can produce energy. I am within that belief system, even though I talk very harshly of people who do. But I do believe it's fact-based. But anyway. Going from one mission that automatically kicks off after another, I receive a call from LJT re telling me that my uh, cocaine lab in 
Sandy Shores is under siege, and I need to go down and uh, uh, fix up the situation. Sorry, I lost the proper phrasing there. By the way, if some of the clips look a little distort distorted, that's because I do not label these, and yeah, it just it might seem like a lot has happened in between in between clips, and maybe it has. I don't know, but yeah, some uh, the next clip, uh, one, well, one clip you might see me at a higher rank than the next, and. Which would signify that uh, I actually lost. Um, I they uh, they've actually been placed out of order. So, yeah, I'm just throwing that disclaimer in. This video is long overdue, and I just came back from uploading one video. So, I'm doing them back to back, trying to anyway. Anyway, I finally come to figuring out how I'm getting off the roof upon uploading the mission because uh the um the uh, casino becomes locked off to me so it just blocks my only exit anyway if james bond were a smoking hot american woman he would be me anyway i finally uh figure out how i'm going to get off the roof and i make my way to the cocaine lab since this is, again, just a day after the Cayo Perillo heist was complete, I still have PTSD from infinitely spawning helicopters. So I take my attention to take down the uh, helicopter, and at this point an NPC takes the opportunity to rip me out of the car and shoot me while I can't fight back. Needless to say, I am super, super pissed about this. So, anyway, I now have to restart my business from the ground up. And and LJ, and I'm about to enter an SUV, but it is at this precise moment. LJT decides to rub my face into it over the phone. And the vehicle I was about to hop into just disappears like fucking Houdini or whatever. Now, I forcing me to settle for this ratty old car now, and there are witnesses who are about to attack me, but I am in no fucking mood, so I just gun them down instantly, and this, of course, brings the attention of the law. Luckily, since they're local police, they aren't much of a threat. Especially since it's pretty easy to lose them in Sandy Shores based because of the way the streets are laid out. Anyway, I make my way back to the cocaine lab to start the business back up again. And uh, not really uh, look forward to what uh, kind of mission LJT has me do. Because I'm sure it'll take me outside of the city. Well, out into the city, I should say. Not out of it. Yep, fucking hate it when I'm right. Anyway, I find the supplies inside of a vehicle. And a worker sees me hop into the car and I gun him down. Yeah, which is... I admit, pretty unnecessary, but hey, I've had a shit day already in this game, so cut me some slack. Eh, at least it didn't bring the law on me this time. Anyway, I bring the vehicle into Sandy Shores, and we are back in business. Now, anyway, I have only spawned in for... Uh, 11 minutes, and I have had been faced with four inconven—I mean, three inconveniences. One being English Dave making me go into the desert to grab some crystals while being stuck inside of Fort San Cudo. And then I get a call from LJT inconveniencing me to go to the desert. 
while being stuck on the roof of the casino to only fail to rescue my staff in the cocaine lab, forcing me to start my business back up. And now that all that is finally done and over with, I jack some car right under some old lady and and make my way over to my arcade to collect my daily earnings. But then suddenly, I hear an alarm. It's a store being robbed, and since this is a very local town, I figure even though it's uh, 24-7, it kind of feels like a local business. So after uh, flopping the side of my car, I... uh chase after the guy who robbed the joint and I uh, take him out and then collect my winnings although it is quite a chase as you can see also um, it wasn't the 24-7 store it was the uh, barber shop which does pay a lot of cash even though uh Cash is, it's very rare to find someone with that much cash these days. Anyway, with that being the least inconvenient thing to happen to me in this video so far, I finally make my way over to the arcade. And make my way over to the safe, passing by a jukebox playing copyright music. I was going to make my way to my counterfeit cash depot just down the street, but I decided to set a waypoint to G's cash. It takes me a little while to find it, but not gonna lie, it's a decent hiding spot, I'd say, provided no officials ever spot it. Alright, after the fact, I make my way over to the stash house take out the one witness to report me who could report me kicking down the door and i make my way inside the joint ah oh, man i've always hated these absurd fucking angles but anyway as you can probably tell from the footage i decide to use the one shot pistol that i got from the uh, man, the fortress at Cayo Perio. Not a bad gun, but you know, in modern warfare, those one-shot pistols are a bit unpractical, but still pretty cool. It takes me quite a while to find the barcode. It takes me a while to find the code, but I want to point out the fact that it was with well in the center of the frame. But I was so busy looking at the dead chick's ass that I completely missed it. But anyway, I definitely saw it that time. And so I punch the code in and walk out with the supplies. Hey, didn't I just kill you? Well, anyway, I'll never know what those supplies were for because um, my uh, storage space, my hard drives got full and... I had to uh, switch gears to delete some stuff, and I forgot to continue recording. Anyway, switching gears, I make my way to the Tequila La Inn to grab supplies for my uh, forged documents warehouse. Anyway, it takes me quite a few downs before I finally beat down all those guys and collect the stash. Anyway, with that being said and done, I make my way over to Polito Bay to manage my weed storage facility. Right after I do a parachute mission first. I admittedly had to retry after just one failed attempt, but I got it in the end. Now I'm ready to make my way over to the weed farm. But psych again, because 
when I jack a lady's um, ride to make my way over there, I get a wanted level. Because as misfortune would have it, I it's a car that Simeon happened to be interested in. Now, yeah, I could, of course, just ignore the thing, but hey, money's money. I take it to Hal's custom shop to get it chromed up, or I should say chrome the fuck up, to, as a cyberpunk quote. And with that delivery being a success, I pocket just over nine grand. Well, as much of an inconvenience as that was, and I guess money's money, definitely um, would have preferred a little more compensation, not going to lie. Anyway, now I make my way over to the weed farm. No more interruptions. If something does happen on the way there, and it probably will, I will not include it in this video. Fortunately, nothing did happen, and skipping ahead to uh, me s setting up to steal more supplies, I now have to create more chaos to bring police protection, and the police will just ride in with the stuff I happen to be trying to steal rather than bringing it to lock up. How the heck does that make sense? I don't know, but it's the it's what the game says will happen, so here goes nothing. Anyway, I finally collect the bagger with the stuff I'm looking for, and from there, it's just a quick drive over. I gotta say, I am glad the RNG gods decided to throw me a bone and not force me to drive all the way to the police station in Los Santos. I mean, I realize it's randomly generated, and therefore it doesn't matter where my warehouse is located, but you would think that uh, the stuff, I mean, the, pol the police that grabbed the shit would be from the area. Anyway, upon delivering the supplies, I must now sell what it what the uh what is already in stock and it and the problem is the stock that I got was allowed to accumulate and therefore I had to perform miracle miracles and deliver all 10 packages by myself and if I had to uh, uh, take make one delivery in a vehicle and then go to and then go into the next car and make another delivery switch back and forth it was that if it was that type of mission I for sure would have failed, but to my surprise, I delivered every single one of them with only a minute to spare. I think I deserve a pat on the back for that, and a like and a subscription to you guys below, from you guys below, would be appreciated also. Anywho, switching gears, I decided since I'm in the area, I might as well uh, head to my bunker and deliver weapons parts to ammunition. So apart from a few uh, assholes trying to uh, uh, shoot at me and stop me from delivering the shit, um, luckily, which they didn't provide, I mean, they didn't cause too much trouble because luckily the... Um, because luckily the giant crate in the back of the truck provides plenty of cover. So as long as I stepped on it, it wouldn't be an issue. Anyway, I make my way over to the nightclub to collect my stuff from the safe. And I decide to take a load off for a moment. 
Anyway, after doing all that inside my nightclub, I decided it was time to have a look at uh, have a look through the clothing store and browse through their collection. Even though I did look, even though I did buy a few things, I did a little more to my current appearance than take off my jacket. So I get back inside my bumblebee looking car and make my way over to the auto shop because I received a text from uh, Senate Sia or whatever her name, however you say her name, that a uh, customer dropped off a vehicle into the shop. Now, I and so upon... <clears throat> After doing all the modifications, I nice and carefully deliver the vehicle to the customer. Yet another satisfied customer in the books. Anyway guys, I know this was a quick one, but that is because I want to be able to title the next video, I finally bought a super yacht. So... Just to give you a heads up of what's coming up. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will see you very soon for the next one. As always, Dr. Stephen James saying peace. Later, guys.